Hi, I'm Hilary Malecki. I love old dishes, and I saw a beautiful dish at the Osborne Jackson house last year. It had a cover with lots of holes in the top, and I wanted to ask Richard, what's the dish called and what was it used for? Thanks. Welcome to Ask the Curator. We're here at the East Hampton Historical Society, and we think that a lot of our objects and a lot of objects you probably own are sort of obscure. You may not necessarily know what they were used for, or you may think you know, and you may find out that you don't have the slightest idea. So we got together and thought that it might be fun to do a series monthly where we ask you to send us images of objects from your collection, things that you've owned, heirlooms, whatever, um, that you're not sure exactly maybe where they were made, what they were used for, photograph, a video, uh, to info at easthamptonhistory.org. Um, and Mary Ann, our steward person in charge of, of our educational events, will take care of getting me the material, and we may next month use one of your items uh, in our program. To start off, uh, we asked some of our friends if there were things from our collection that they'd seen that they didn't know what they were. And Hillary, one of our best friends, said, yeah, there was. There's something at your Osborne Jackson house on Main Street that I don't really understand. And I can certainly understand why she wouldn't understand, because it's a rather obscure object. Came to us a number of years ago through Sag Harbor. Belonged to a whaling captain's family. It was found, in fact, in the estate. It dates from the Civil War period, 1850-1860, which was really a big time for uh, whaling captains in particular to, before that, to stop in China and a little later on to stop in Japan to uh, get food and water and other materials that were necessary to continue on to the Alaska Sea for whaling. So the object that we have is a small oval covered porcelain box. It's relatively thick, it's relatively crudely made, it surely wasn't a very expensive item. It is mostly hand painted, although there's a little touch of a transfer print underneath, which the artist then used really bright, colorful uh, enamel colors uh, to highlight a domestic scene that shows mostly children, some of them are fishermen, some of them are, you know, ladies uh, sewing. There's a boat in the distance, so it's sort of a landscape type scene. And it's a floral top. And what's particularly odd about it is that the, you lift up the cover, and you can see even before you lift up the cover that there are holes in the top of it, which would lead you to imagine that maybe it was a little thing for flowers, and those little holes were for flowers, and you'd put water in the bottom. Or some people have looked at it and they have thought that, oh, you know, I think that that's a soap dish and you'd put a bar of soap on top and then the water would drain off and keep the soap, make it last a little longer. Those are all really intelligent ideas, but none of them really have anything to do with this particular object. This is in fact a cricket cage or a cricket box. And just as some of us, when we were kids, and kids still do, tra traipse around in the early summer and gather fireflies and put them in a jar, or possibly uh, a cricket, um, because they chirp and they make a great sound. And that's exactly what the young kids in Japan and China did. They had, they'd ca catch a little cricket, put it in the box, cover it up, put it upstairs by their bed, or in another room nearby, and then usually about sundown, the cricket would start making a wonderful cricket sound. And so the kids would be excited by that. In the morning, they'd wake up, look inside. The cricket usually was still alive. They'd let the cricket go. And then the next evening, they would catch a cricket again. So it was a fun item. And you can certainly see why a whaling captain, if he saw one of these things for sale in the Hongs of, of China, uh, would think this was a really fun thing to bring back to, you know, anybody, any member of the family would enjoy it greatly. So this mysterious object that Hillary wasn't sure what it was, is in fact a little cage or a box uh, for a singing cricket. Now, 
you may have something just as obscure and entertaining at home. And if you do, please send us a video and next month we'll look at it and we may answer your question. So we thank you for joining us and we'll see you next month.